Hello, everyone. Welcome to 2018 Colorado Rockies Stratomatic Super Advanced Baseball. Today is game 53 of the 2018 season replay. Today, the Colorado Rockies will be hosting the Cincinnati Reds. And today's uh, starting pitchers for the Cincinnati Reds is Matt Harvey. And for the Colorado Rockies is Herman Marquez. All right, and leading off for the Reds in left field is Jesse Winker. And here's the pitch to Winker. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. And first out is made by Winker going down on strikes. And here is the catcher, Tucker Barnhart. That's a ground ball right back to the box. Uh, Marquez, a three. He'll get to that in 11. And an E15. Oh, boy. E15. There is no 14, so that'll be a good play for Marquez. He gets it, throws it over to Ian Desmond, and that's two away in the top half of the first with nobody on and no score. And here is the first baseman, Joey Votto. And that is a ground ball to second. Uh, Ryan McMahon might have some issues with this. Four and a seven. Oh, great diving. No, four and a five. No, it gets through. And he won't make an error because at least he's decent defensively. E7. There is no... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, let me make sure I have Ryan McMahon's 4E10. Okay, sorry. E10 and a 11 now. Okay, so it dribbles through, and the Reds have their first hit of the day as Votto gets one past the diving Ryan McMahon, and they will not hold him on. Here comes Here is the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. A member of the four home runs in a game club. And Marquez, oh, they call time. And there is no box. So we will re-roll. And that's a ground ball to second again for, Valike, for uh, McMahon. He'll get to this one. And... Oops, where did I put the... Uh, Oh, here they are. Okay. So E10 and an 8. And that's a good play. And McMahon gets the ball, throws the first, and that'll retire the side. The Reds strand one and going to the bottom half of the first. It's the Reds nothing and the Rockies coming to bat. Here is Matt Harvey. Not sure how far um, after the Mets released him or traded him that this is. So you might want to look up when his first... Red start was and leading off is the center fielder Charlie Blackman, and that's a high pop. Second baseman Jeanette calls for it and makes the catch for the first out. And here is David Dahl. Move these down a little bit. Okay, playing left field today, and that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So two down and. Nobody on and no score, and here's Nolan Arenado. Long fly ball, deep left center field, and that is off the wall. A 1-6 to six would have been a home run, but it's a 17, so Arenado will take the ringing double off the wall. And here comes the shortstop, Trevor, Trevor Story. With the runner on second and two outs. Nothing on that 20. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So the Rockies leave a runner on second and do not score. We go to the top half of the second with no score. And Marquez will face the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Playing third base today. Here is the pitch to Suarez. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. And here is the... Right fielder, Scott Shevler. And that's a ground ball to the shortstop. Story. 
a one and a one. Oh, great, absolutely great diving stop. Can he make the throw to first? Yes, he can. Holy cow, what a play by Story. And the course field crowd gets on their feet and gives him a standing ovation. As he dove headlong to get that and throws and just got him. All right, here is uh, Jose Peraza playing shortstop today. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So the, the Reds go in order here in the second. And we go to the bottom half with no score. All right, here's Matt Harvey. He'll face Carlos Gonzalez, the right fielder today. And Gonzalez, that's a fly ball, that's a line drive, and that'll go off the wall. In the second with a standing double is Gonzalez, and the Rockies have something cooking leaning off the top half, the bottom half of the second. And here's the first baseman, Ian De Desmond, and they will hold Gonzalez on second. That's nothing. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So Harvey bears down and strikes out Desmond. And here is Ryan McMahon, the second baseman. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. And that brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. Uh, we'll say that's a nice move on that. Oops. Okay. Oops. Dice doesn't want to stay in. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm trying to get a new baseball for the pitcher. And, whoops. And that's a high pop up. No, Jeanette's camped under it and he makes the play. And the Rockies waste a leadoff double. And we go to the top half of the third, no score. And leading off will be the pitcher, Matt Harvey. Now the Reds with Billy Hamilton who's on deck. Uh, have decided to go with that strategy of hitting the pitcher eighth. And that is a ground ball to the shortstop. A little easier play for Story this time. Uh, 14 and a 13... Good play for Story. And so Harvey grounds out the short to begin the top half of the third. And here is the center fielder, Billy Hamilton. Ground ball to first. Desmond is a three, and that's an eight. Three and an eight should be a good play. And it is. And Desmond being an E8 and, and, and a nine. That's a good play as well. So Desmond ranges over, gets it, flips to Marquez covering, and that's two away here in the top half of the third. And here it is Jesse Winker struck out his first time up and finds the only out in the two column, one of two outs. Fly ball left field, and that will be caught by Dahl. And that retires the side in order here in the third. And we go to the bottom half, still no score. And Harvey will face the pitcher, Herman Marquez, who is no slouch at the plate. You see his stats for 2018. And that's a ground ball to the second baseman, uh, Jeanette. He'll get there. Can he make the play? Oh, boy. 13 and a 12. Yes, he will get there. And so Jeanette ranges over, going towards second. Throws and got him. Oops, not there. Here. Okay, so we go back to the top of the order. And Charlie Blackman, who pop popped out to the second baseman his first time up. And Blackman with a swing. And yeah, swing and a miss, strike three. And that is the... Fifth strikeout in three innings for Harvey. And here's David Dahl with two outs and nobody on. Ooh. 
Ground ball right back to the mound. Harvey over Devoto, and that retires the side in order. And we go to the top half of the fourth. There's no score. Here's Marquez. He will face Barnhart, Votto, and Jeanette. Uh, Barnhart uh, grounded out back to the pitcher. And against the lefty, that's a swing and a miss, strike three. And so that is the fourth strikeout for Marquez. And here is Joey Votto. Single this first time up. And not this time, swing and a miss, strike three. So Votto is strikeout victim. And here's Scooter Jeanette with two outs and nobody on. He grounded out to the second baseman, uh, McMahon, his first time up. And this time he'll pick on Trevor Story. He'll gobble it up, throw to first, and that will retire the side. Going to the bottom half of the fourth, no score. Both pitchers trying to maybe make early dinner reservations. All right, here's Nolan Arenado. Uh, right to Votto. He's a two, so that will be an easy play as that's a nine. And Votto, a six and an eight will be okay. And a two and a nine is de definitely fine. So Votto picks it up, throws to Harvey covering. That's one away. And here is Trevor Story struck out his first time up. And so good, he wants to do it again. So this time, oh, oh, Story goes down on strikes again. And here is Carlos Gonzalez doubled his last time up, leading off the second inning. And, oof, that's a fly ball. And that'll go off the wall. And Gonzalez goes into second again, the second double of the day. See if maybe uh, Ian Desmond can pick him up here. He struck out his first time up. And not this time, swing and a miss, strike three. And so they leave a runner on, the Rockies leave a runner on second. And we go to the top half of the fifth, no score. Marquez will go out and he'll face Suarez, Shevler, and Peraza. Oops. And that is a line drive base hit past the shortstop. And Eugenio, Eugenio Suarez is on with a single. And he will not be, not be held on. And here is Scott Shevler. Right fielder, he grounded out the short his first time up. Oops. And that is, well, no, hold on. That's not going to be anything because that will be a chance at a pass ball. And Tony Walters is a PB4. And that will be okay because that is a 19. And so we'll try that again. Okay, that is to the second baseman. So that'll get by McMahon. Only thing is, will Suarez be able to go to second or go to third? Four and a two. He's going to third. And E10 and a nine. Nope. So that'll get through. Suarez getting the good read goes to third. And the Reds have something going here. First and third, nobody out. And here's Jose Peraza, the shortstop. Struck out his first time up. And that's a high pop-up. The shortstop, and that's one away. That two-column, ever dangerous. And here's Matt Harvey. He will swing away with runners on first and third. Harvey, right-handed hitter. And that is in the dirt, and Walters will smother that. And that's a 3-2 count. Here's the payoff pitch to Matt Harvey. Ground ball right back to the mound. Marquez gets it over to Story for one on to first double play. So the pitch in the dirt may have helped out a little bit, but it is what it is. So the... 
Reds threaten and do not score. And after four and a half, it's no score. And here is Ryan McMahon. Uh, struck out his first time up. And he strikes out again. So Harvey now has four, five, six, seven, eight strikeouts against the Rockies so far. And here is uh, Tony Walters. And that is a high fly ball. Deep left field, deep right field. Going back on it is Shepler, and it is gone. Tony Walters has just taken Matt Harvey deep. He does have that normal power, and the uh, ballpark factors are one to one to fifteen. So that is a home run for Tony Walters. And the Rockies go out on top, one nothing. And here is Mar Herman Marquez. And against the righty, that's a fly ball center field. Uh, Hamilton will get, um, move in a couple steps and make the catch. And here is uh, Charlie Blackman with two outs and nobody on, and the Rockies leading one nothing. And that's a ground ball to the shortstop. Peraza, easy throw over to Votto, and that will retire the side. The Rockies draw first blood and lead 1-0. Marquez will face Hamilton, Winker, and Barnhart. Uh, Hamilton grounded out the first his first time up. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. Six strikeouts for Marquez here in the going into the top half of the sixth. And here is Jesse Winker. A strikeout and a flyout. And that's another swing and a miss. So Marquez has struck out the first two in the top half of the sixth. And here is Tucker Barnhart. And that's a base hit getting past uh, Trevor Story. And the Reds have a two-out base runner. And upcoming is Joey Votto, a uh, single and single and a strikeout in his two at bats. And that's a ground ball to the shortstop. Story, as you know, is a one. That's a three. He'll get to it. And there is no ten, so Story will get it. Throw to first to get Votto. And that'll retire the side. Go to the bottom half of the sixth. The Rockies lead one to nothing. And here is Harvey. They will let him come out. He's pitched to uh, 19 batters. This might be his last inning, but we'll see. Uh, here is David Dahl. Oh. <laughs> And David Dahl, that is a great diving catch by Billy Hamilton, or else that would have been many extra bases. So Billy Hamilton getting the, the salute from uh, Harvey. And here is Nolan Arenado. And that's a swing and a miss for Arenado as the two column is not his friend. And here is Trevor Story. And that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So that is 10 strikeouts for Matt Harvey. And the Mets were wondering where this Matt Harvey was to start the 2018 season. So we go to the top half of the seventh inning. Yep, top half of the seventh inning. Rockies lead 1-0, and Marquez will stay out. Uh, he had one against his point of weakness, which is a 6. And here is the pitch to Scooter Jeanette. Uh, the Rockies will have Adam Adovino loosening in the pen in case something happens. And that's a fly ball to center field. Blackman goes back a couple of steps and makes the catch. And that's one away. And here is Eugenio Suarez. 
And Suarez rips one into the gap. It gets cut off by the left fielder, Dahl. And Suarez is two for three on the day. And here is Scott Schepler. Um, now they won't. All right, so bring out the Havoc die here. They will not hold on Suarez. Okay, nothing there. And that is a line drive base hit. And hitting second and staying there is uh, Suarez. And here comes Bud Black. Marquez will not make it to the third point for his point of weakness. And in comes Adam Adovino. And try to get through the seventh inning with one out. So Marquez will go six and a third. Pitched really well, but the two runners on are his responsibility. And we will have Adovino come in here. So Peraza... Uh, all right, so first and second, they are not holding runners on. That's nothing. High pop-up, second base side. McMahon is there, and that's two away. And with runners on first and second, they will use a pinch hitter. Um... So Alex Blandino will come off the bench. Uh, Wandy Peralta quickly loosening in the pen. He, he will be coming in. So let me get uh, now pinch hitting for the Cincinnati Reds. Alex Blandino. So Blandino will come on with two outs and two on. In a big situation. And Blandino takes ball four. And the bases are loaded for Billy Hamilton. And so Rockies fans are on their feet cheering on Adovino. And here's the pitch to Billy Hamilton. And that's to the center fielder, and thankfully this is a high number, a 20, because Blackman needs it. And an uh, 11 for an E1 will not be enough. Fly ball, Blackman will race it down and make the catch. And Adovino takes care of his uh, batters. And we go to the bottom half of the seventh. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back for its root, root, root for the Rockies. They don't win. It's a shame for its one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Okay. Sorry for my poor singing, but hey, it's America. Okay. So Wandy Peralta will be coming in the game to pitch. And for those wondering why I put a one in a circle, it's to make known easier when pitching changes occur, instead of using the little curtains that I've seen other seen other other people use. All right, so Peralta will come in. He will face Gonzalez, Desmond, and McMahon. Uh, Carlos Gonzalez is two for two with two doubles today. So Wandy Peralta I'm trying to see if he can do a little bit better. And that's a 15, and that will be a line drive base hit. So Carlos Gonzalez is two for th or three for three on the day. And let's see if we do not hold him on, he will be a plus one. So he'd be a one to 15. They will hold him on, and so he will be a minus one. So they won't do one to 13. So they're holding on Gonzalez. Ian Desmond, hmm, he will swing away, although he's not been good today. 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. And this is a fly ball to left field. Coming in a couple of steps is Winker, and he will make the play. 
And that is first down. Here is uh, Ryan McMahon. Uh, over two or two strikeouts as well. That's nothing. That is a ground ball right back to the mound. The second for one out to get Gonzalez. The th return throw is not in time. So that brings up Tony Walters, the hero of the day so far. A solo home run in the fifth inning off of Harvey. And here he is with the runners on base. And Walters may do it again, but not so much in the big stint. That's a line drive base hit that'll get cut off. McMahon hits second. He will go to third. And the Rockies have runners on the corners with two outs. And that'll bring up a, the pitcher spot, but they will bring in Noel Cuevas, the pinch hit. Uh, Mike Dunn will be loosening in the pen to come in. And just like Blandino in the last inning, first and third, two outs, and here is Cuevas. Line drive, base hit, right field. In the score is McMahon. Going to second is Walters, and Noel Cuevas has just put the Rockies ahead 2-0. Call Noel Cuevas Geico because he just played insurance man. At least you hope so. And so here is Charlie Blackman with runners on first and second. Um, that would make Peralta tired. So any dots will now be uh, base hits. Uh, they will... Actually, they'll try to pitch to Blackman. And that's high and outside ball four. And that'll be it for, uh, for Peralta. And in comes Tanner Rainey. And excuse me while I get his card. Okay. So Tanner Rainey will now come in boop, and boop. Okay, so you can kind of see his card there. And here is, we'll put him in the scorecard too. Okay, so Rainey now comes in and faces uh, David Dahl. And here's the pitch to David Dahl against the righty, a swing and a drive, deep center field, looking up is Hamilton, grand slam, David Dahl has just Maybe put this game out of reach on the first pitch he sees from a Tanner Rainey. And this is off the, the hitter card. 1-6 is, is right in Dahl's wheelhouse against any righty. And the Rockies have blown this open, scoring five here in the bottom of the seventh. Oh, doctor. And here is Nolan Arenado. Could the Rockies maybe go back-to-back -back home runs here? Nope. That's a line drive right to the second baseman. And that'll retire the side. David Dahl's grand slam puts the Rockies ahead 6 to nothing. As we go to the top half of the eighth. That might be all for Rainey for that. Okay, so Mike Dunn will be coming out, and he'll try to not give up the lead. Okay, so you know, we'll go over there. 
And we will get Mike Dunn's uh, stats here in just a second. Okay. And we'll just kind of put him under and over. Right, so there's Dunn's card. All right, so Mike Dunn will come in the game. And he will face the top of the order, Winker, Barnhart, and Votto. Ooh, fly ball center field. Tough play for Blackman. This will fall. Four and a five. That is a... Oh, he cuts it off in the gap. So good play by Blackman to cut it off for a single. All right, and here is Tucker Barnhart, the switch hitter. He will bat uh, right-handed. And they will not hold on Winker. Okay, so that's a two and a two. That is no balk for uh, Mike Dunn. So we will re-roll. And that is high and outside, ball four. And Mike Dunn may be getting a quick hook here. Uh, Brooks Pounders is loosening in the pen. And if things don't improve, he might be able to come in. Here is Joey Votto. And the Reds may have something cooking here. Swing and a miss, strike three. So he gets Votto for the first out. And here's Scooter Jeanette. That's a tough play for Desmond. I don't think he's going to get it. Ooh, that's going to be even tougher. Three and a three. No. And a 14 and a, he is a eight. Well, at least it only gets by him and it's only going to be a one base advance. So it's the base is loaded. Oops. And here comes A. Eugenio Suarez, and he is uh, Bud Black is not going to mess around. We will bring in Brooks Pounders. That's a place card. <sighs> so Dunn pitches a third of an inning. And Pounders, there's his card, will face... Uh, Eugenio Suarez. Ugh. So bases loaded, one out. They'll play back to get outs. And here's Pounders. And he gets Winker or uh, Suarez to swing and a miss, straight three. And here is Scott Schebler. And the pitch to Shevler with two outs and the base is loaded. Six nothing Rockies, but it could all change in one swing of the bat. That's a line. That's a ground ball base hit down the line. In to score from third is uh, Winker. Rounding second, running third, and scoring is uh, Barnhart. I forgot to put, uh, sorry. And hitting third is Jeanette. So with two outs, he gets a little bit of a one. Actually, yeah, there is two outs. So they were not holding him on. So he is a 15 that is to center field. No, the left field. So Dahl is a minus one. Uh, Jeanette would be a one to 14. They will not send him down four. And they will keep runners on second and third. And here is Jose Peraza. 
And that's uh, first hit given up. That's Ponders. Trying to get the third out of the inning. And that is a line drive base hit. Two more runs will score. And Bud Black has seen enough. The I have scored four, and he will have Wade Davis try to come in for the four-out save. So Wade Davis will come in, and they will get a pinch hitter, Brandon Dixon. So Brandon Dixon will hit for uh, Rainey. And all of a sudden, the uh, tying run is coming to the plate. Okay, so here is Brandon Dixon against Wade Davis. Line fly ball center field going back on this Blackman. He dives and makes the catch. Holy cow, what a play! A one to ten, it would have been a double, and that's an 11. So, a great diving stop by Blackman ends the inning. The Reds get four, and this is a six to four ball game as Brandon Dixon almost. Uh, Extended the inning, but Wade Davis gets the final out here in the the eighth. And he will definitely pitch the ninth. Oof. So Rainey is out. He will not pitch. Uh, Dylan Floro will come in to pitch the uh, eighth. He will face a uh, story. Story Gonzalez and Desmond. Sorry, just finishing up a little housekeeping duties there. Okay, so Story against Floro. That's righty righty. And here's the pitch to cover Story. And that's high and outside ball four. And Floro and Barnhart, not the greatest. So a plus three. So Story will try to get a jump. Oh, yeah. Essentially, as long as he doesn't roll a 20, he is safe. 15, he is safe. So, stolen base by Story. And here is Carlos Gonzalez with a duck on the pond. And Story might be thinking about stealing third. 1 to 14, not going to risk it with uh, nobody out. And here is Carlos Gonzalez. Oh boy. Line drive right to the first baseman, throws back to second, and story is doubled off. Wow. So that'll short circuit a rally there. And here's Ian Desmond. Watch, he'll get a double now. Nope, he'll just strike out, and that retires the side. We go to the top of the ninth. The Rockies lead 6-4, to four, and Davis will come out for his second inning of work, trying to get that four-out save. And here is Billy Hamilton to lead off the ninth. Here's the pitch to Hamilton. Swing and a miss, strike three. First out here in the ninth. And here is Jesse Winker. 
He is one for four on the day with a single and two strikeouts. And that's a line drive base hit, so Winker has a couple of good last at bats, last two at bats. And he is on there, not holding him on. And the tying run is now at the plate. We'll be in Tucker Barnhart and anybody else that bats this inning. And that's a fly ball right field. Coming in a couple steps is Gonzalez. He will make the catch. And last hope is for Joey Votto. And if you're the Reds, that's not a bad last hope. Uh, single and four trips today. And that's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Wade Davis comes on and gets the four out save. And the Rockies take this 6-4 to four with David Dahl getting the grand slam in the, sixth, in the seventh inning off of uh, Peralta. Actually, no, off of uh, Tanner Rainey. All right, so the Rockies now move their record to 23-30 and 30 as they try to dig out of this hole. Maybe the home cooking sort of helped a little bit. All right, so the next series will be against the San Francisco Giants. Uh, the next game I will play on the channel will be Derek Holland against John Gray in the finale. However, after game two of the series, I will post a Rockies week in baseball. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have not already uh, subscribed, please uh, do so. Hit that subscribe button, then hit that bell uh, icon. You'll be notified any new videos. And please hit the like button. It will help a lot. And for those of you playing your games, tabletop, video games, or PC, or whatever, game, whatever style games you play, may your games be lively and your games be good. Have a good night, everybody.